Welcome back. Here's a time lapse from this afternoon. We saw some clouds around around the lunchtime hour as well as some showers for a few locations. But as we advance this through the afternoon, we do see a few uh, a break in the clouds there around two o'clock to three o'clock. But then some thicker clouds moved in around the four o'clock hour. And those are the same clouds that have been stubborn around with us today. And you can see those on our Valley Sky Cam as we speak, uh, shielding that sunshine away from us. So uh, we are watching that sunshine, that clearing very carefully because where that clearing is, is where the areas are at a better chance of seeing those strong to possibly severe storms. At Hector, the sun is shining 71 degrees out there as we speak. A west wind at 10 miles per hour, 73 for those folks in Moorhead. So here's that clearing we're talking about. There is some uh, instability in the atmosphere, mainly in the, in the Devil's Lake region, which is where that sunshine is, as well as off toward the our nor in northern Minnesota counties as well, which is where some thunder showers are as we speak as well. So most of that clearing and most of that unstable air is north of I-94 at this time, which happens to be right where the marginal risk of severe weather is. And marginal is on a scale from zero to five for a severe weather risk, it's at a one. So just an isolated severe storm is possible in that dark shaded green there uh, just north of 94. So here's right now, the severe storms in northern Canada or excuse me, in our northern neighborhoods and in southern Canada, they are moving slowly southeastward. Have not seen a severe thunderstorm warning issued by the American Weather Service at this time for those storms, but I'm watching those very carefully as those are approaching the international border. We are also watching those storms in our north, northern Beltrami as well as Lake of the Woods County, but those are just thunder showers. They're not severe at this time, but some brief heavy rainfall is possible in those locations in northern Minnesota. We're in the lower 70s up and down the Red River Valley with upper 60s outside of it, 77 right now in Aberdeen. So the sunshine is a bit more prominent to the south, and that's where, of course, it is a bit on the warmer side for us this evening. The hour by hour shows just a break, some breaks in the clouds, but where those breaks in the clouds are, that is going to help increase that instability. So as we head toward 10 o'clock, could see a shower or a thunderstorm moving through, again, our northern uh, counties north of I-94, and some of these could be strong to severe as we go through the evening with mainly gusty winds and perhaps some hail possible with those storms as they move through. Then we quiet down overnight. Tomorrow morning, though, could wake up to an isolated shower in a few spots. It's just enough to get the windows wet this evening. Temperatures uh, at 7.30 a.m., 40s and 50s. So much cooler tomorrow waking up uh, than it was today by about 5 degrees. And advancing through the afternoon hours, we see plenty of sun around. But we could have a passing sunshine-driven shower passing through in the afternoon hours. Not expecting a washout, not expecting anything widespread, but could just be a splash and dash type shower as we go from the peak afternoon hours tomorrow. Again, nothing too concerning for your Wednesday, and then skies then gradually clear Wednesday night. Temperatures tomorrow only in the 60s for us, so a much cooler day with those northwesterly winds between 15 and 30 miles per hour tomorrow. So that's going to funnel that cool air right into our neck of the woods as we go through the afternoon. And you can see those temperatures where the clouds hang on a bit longer, only 50s by tomorrow at 5 o'clock in our Minnesota counties. Lower 60s, though, where we could see mostly sunny skies there along the South Dakota, North Dakota border. Uh, but so we'll see lower 60s for most with 50s for those cool spots. How about this shot from Sherry? This is in War Road, uh, Minnesota, there in uh, Roseau County. Beautiful sunrise shot there on the lake. Thanks so much, Sherry, for sending this into us at valleynewslive.com. And then the next couple days, we're going to be in the 60s both days and breezy both days as well. Thursday brings back a chance of some showers, mainly in the p.m. hours. But the big, uh, the best chance of seeing rainfall this uh, seven days is Saturday night into Sunday. And temperatures this weekend only in the 50s. Yikes. Okay, let's focus on the background photo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Instead no. of the 50s. It's quite That's nice, right. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. We've got some amazing photographers for viewers. We don't really we? do. Yeah, thank you, Nathan. Yep.